Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sale, have you? Hello everyone, Cat McMuffin here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wind Waker. Let's see what the King of Red Lions has to say. Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hall and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you got to Y, Z, or X, and press that same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow... thing... that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Use control stick to steer. If you should wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. This is too complicated for my... my tiny brain. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Do you understand all that? Let's just say that I did. Yeah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place where we should currently be heading on for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, pre simply press control pad up to open the chart and confirm your position. Now, Wesley, wind blows. Hop in and let us carry us to the east. Well, I would like to do that, but I also kind of want to find those other... Well, I know where the other two kids are, I just can't get to them. I really want to get them. I, I, which is terrible for me to say, because I sound like a pedophile, but no. I want to catch those kids so they can give me whatever they were going to give me, or whatever that teacher was going to give me. But at the same time, I really just want to move on. Uh, I may come back here later. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, um... <clears throat> We have the sail, that's what's most important right now, so. We're just gonna go on ahead. So let's get in. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's cruise. Yes. Cruising. I actually have no idea what we're doing right now. <clears throat> let's see. I suppose this is where we're going. So I need to use the... Let's see. We're going over that way, so we need to go east. And I'm assuming that this uh, face is north, so we're going to want to go that way, right? I think that's right. I want to use my sail. I, I literally paid absolutely no attention to this to the, the, the boat while he was talking. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep on cruising, I suppose. Now. I'm, I'm steering. Are we? Are we? Are we ready to uh, use the sail now? We're out in international waters, I think. The. It's. It's the. The music has faded. Oh wait! I remember what I need to do. Duh. Need to set it to a button. So let's do this. Oh yeah! Now we're heading off. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. I want to listen to this music, but I also want to check the, uh... Okay, yes, we are heading the right direction. I think it's kind of weird, but also at the same kind of time kind of cool that, uh, the entire map, every island is one box in the grid. Which is pretty cool. Oh, look, buoys! I'm gonna go through the buoy- Okay, no, I'm not gonna go through the buoys. Never mind. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at this! Look at this! Adventure awaits! Oh, I love it. Let's go through the- wait, what is that over there? <clears throat> I can't talk, my voice is clogging up. More buoys, I'm just gonna- oh, they have rupees on them, interesting. I couldn't catch that. Oh, what's this? Hold on. I wanna see what this is. Hold on. Hold on. I wanna see- I wanna see what this is. Put away your sail. Okay, yeah. What is this? I'm curious. You stay there, King of Red Lions. I will talk to this guy. A pink moblin. Oh, you're gonna attack him? I guess I might as well. You're stuck at C2? Then I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah. Mercilessly. Because that's what I do. That's what Link does. He just kills things that look evil. Even if they aren't particularly. And there was really nothing here. Oh well, I need to uh, restock on rupees. Okay, back on the uh, back on the boat. All right, let's do this thing all the way back. There's so much stuff in the sea. What is that over there? I just want to look at everything. Oh man, 
What is this? Chains! Okay, I guess that wasn't anything in particular. Oh, look, the seagulls are flying around me. That's so adorable. And there's a thing! I think this is a boat where you can buy stuff, so let's take a look at that real quick. I know, taking a bunch of detours so before we can move on, but I want to see. Oh, hi. You look like African-American Bert. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle Shop Ship! I deal in pretty much every anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Oh, just use uh, brows. Okay, I'll do that. A bait bag. Okay. We also have an all-purpose bait. And a hoi pair. I don't even know what that is. I like how they're playing the shop music in the background. That's pretty cool. Have anything to say? Just buy something. Okay. Uh. Well, the bait is only ten rupees, so I might as well take it. I don't know what it's going to be useful for. I imagine catching things. Oh, I have to buy the bait bag first. Well, I have enough for all all of these things, so that's fine. I'll buy it. Yeah, bait bag. Why it looks like a pig? I have no idea. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Okay. Sounds Thank good. <laughs> okay. I'll make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you, I'll have you know. Now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can own a silver membership. Or just... Okay, yeah. Let's buy some bait. I don't know when I'll have... <clears throat> have find a time to use this, but you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna take our circular strawberries and put them away. I wonder if there's anything else in the bait bag. Yes, 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 Bye. yes, I know. Bye! Okay, let's see. Go in the bait bag. Can I see what's in there? Okay, three braid. Three braids. Yes, okay. Well, that was semi amusing. Let's move on then. All right, let's go. Oh, I jumped right onto it. That was pretty awesome. And away we go again. Let's see, am I heading? In, am I heading the right place? Let's see. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm assuming that that giant pillar of rock up there is where I'm going. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the, uh, the place in its entirety. It looks so cool. Awesome. Let's see if we can catch at least one of these rupees. Get out of the way, Seagull. I'm busy looking around. It's getting closer. I can easily see how people might think this is kind of annoying, like, having to travel all this way. But I think this is so freaking cool. Being able to travel exactly where you want to go. And I imagine... Oh, okay. All right. Cutscene. There, on the horizon! That is our destination, Captain! Dragon Roost Island! That does not sound good. Oh, but I love the mu- Oh, the music is so good in this game! I love it! Oh. It makes- it makes me happy inside. I love it. High atop this island's peak lived the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valoo! Alright. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about who, how to see the dragon. Well, if you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a moment. Oh, come on. I want to explore. This is the Wind Waker. It's a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. Oh, so that's why it's yet another Legend of Zelda game that involves some sort of instrument. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Why do you have it, of all people? Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Alright, I guess I might as well. First conduct in three, four time. Do not touch the... Try to match the rhythm by tilting... Alright. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay. 
That was harder than it seemed. <laughs> Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4 time. Hold them to change the rhythm. Imagine that. Yeah, I knew that already. Wait, wait, what? Uh, I have no idea what... No, 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 wait, wait. Okay. This is hard. I don't know why this is so hard. No. Okay, hold on. I got, I got this. Just gotta start over. What's the matter, Captain? You do not have time to time it exactly. Just be sure to be... Okay. Okay, I will do my best. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I don't even know. Am I even doing it right? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Woo! Woo! Yeah, I, I'm trying! Why are there only three things, though? Oh, I have to match it. Okay. Jeez. That's confusing. But alright. I'll go with it. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I just had to know what I was doing. That said, Captain. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Y yeah, it was. Don't, don't beat around the bush, man. You could also conduct it with it in 6-4 time by toasting fam to fam. You would do well to remember that. Yeah! I got the Wind Waker! By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods! Yo, champ in the making! Okay, cool. So I can set that to anything. Don't, uh, don't tilt for 3 4. Hold 4 4. Hold the other way. So, okay, cool. I can do that. Alright, so let's take a look around here. There's some bombs. I imagine I need something to pick those up, right? Danger! Do not attack the explosive fruit. Alright. There's a guy over here sailing his ship. Let's see if I can catch up to him. Hey, buddy! This is very. Nice. Nice shot there. Alright, I'm coming onto your boat. Do you have anything for me now? Okay. What do you got? More bait and more fruit. Okay, I don't care about that. Maybe that fruit is important in some way, but I honestly have no idea. Anyway, let's get off of here. Go back to the Dragon Roost Island. Get up on here and see what's going on. Alright. Can't go that one way because there's a rock in the way. What does this say? Wind Shrine and the Mail Center. Let's try going to the Wind Shrine. That sounds interesting. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, look, there's a crab thing. I'm gonna attack it. I'm gonna attack. Okay. What is this right here? Huh. Well, this seems incomplete. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Oh, I can do that. Look, I have something special that just happens to be useful for this. Yeah. Alright. Yes, that is what I'm doing. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. There, I got it. Uh, Link is so into that. That's awesome. Yeah! You learned the Wind's re Requiem. Okay. What happens? Oh my god, what? Yup, that's a minus breeze. What? <laughs> um, hi. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So, you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great! For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. 
What the fuck is this thing? That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing, or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating Cyclos to torment people with. Why is this guy a frog if he's, like, wind-based? He's, he's like sitting in a cloud of his own ass farts. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, that certainly was random. Okay, well. I don't know what to think of that. Let's just move on. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. It was probably just a figment of my imagination anyway. I mean... Link, Link is probably on some, like, some serious drugs right now. He, I mean, think about it. He's riding on a boat that can talk. And then there's this guy that shows up on a cloud of fart. And he's just like, oh yeah, you have to help me. What? I don't understand. What is this? I'm gonna attack. Oops, or sidle. What? Can I sidle? Oh, it's just along any surface. Okay. Um, there's a bridge up there. I can't get up here unless I attack that. Maybe I can pick up the the bombs. Let's see if I can. I can, of course. All right, let's go up here. Okay, so that's kind of a fast time limit. Let's see. I don't think there are any of, any of them nearby there, so I have to run, 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 run. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. So instead, I'm going to go over here and blow up this rock, if I can. There we go. That was not close. You bounced off the freaking thing. That's not what you're supposed to do. Don't bounce this time. Well, that works. All right. Some hearts. Yes, I definitely need those. Okay. More rocks. Luckily, there are more bombs. Let's try blowing up this one. Let's see what happens. Okay, cool, cool. What else hat? What does this say? Up. Or forward. Okay, sure. There's a rock here for some reason. Oh, there's a rupee inside. Nice little find that I don't really care about. Okay, let's move this. Let's blow up this other rock. Rock blowins! That's what's going on here. Awesome. I love the art style for this game, it's awesome. There's another one up there. What does this say? So many signs to read. Ma Ma he wanted to say Mall Center. That's not right. Mall Center is that way, but I can't really get to it at the moment. So let's just move on with the way we're going. <laughs> That's not right. Let's try that again. Give me another one, Skippy. Yes. Okay. Gotta aim ourselves just so and throw it! Yes. Excellent. And a yellow ruby. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, Link. Do something you're good at. Like, si- That's not what you're supposed to do, Link. You have to listen. I give the commands. I'm at the command here. And you, as the protagonist in a video game, are supposed to listen to anything I say. And you're supposed to do it. Okay? I hope we've- we've, uh, we've figured that out amongst yourselves. It's- it's good. Good talk. Don't make me think about firing you. Okay. Let's try this again. I want to sidle. Sidle. S sidle. There we go. Link's not sure about this little crevice here. Because I know the last time he hurt himself. And that's not good. A blue rupee. Well, I guess we better go get it. Alright. We're still good on time, so we can still have a little bit more fun here. Okay, did that work? No. Must not have been close enough. Quit bouncing, you. Ow! What the crap? Well, it worked that time, so... Alright. My mailbox that I have... But I have nothing to mail, so it doesn't matter. Oh, well, here's somebody. Hey, it's the mailman! What's going on, dude? Captain? Captain, is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. Yes, I have. 
And your sister, is she... Is she dead? Well, I don't know about that. Is that so? Wait, what? I didn't even say anything! <laughs> well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Captain. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Oh, so you live here. I've told my people about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain that the chieftain will befriend and let you and lend you the aid of our Airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Captain. I'll be waiting. Alright, cool. And off he goes. Those Ritos are really weird looking. Not quite birds, but not quite people either. Anyway, let's move on now. Looks like there's a cavern that we can enter, so let's do that. Ooh, but first pot break-ins! Yes, there's nothing in that pot. No, Link! You have so much to live for! It's not necessary. Okay. Let's go on inside. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. All the Ritos are just hanging out. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Okay. This guy looks creepy. It looks like he's just wearing a beak on his face. Like there's actually a nose under there. Ah, so you are a captain, are you? Quill has told me all about you. Is that his name? I thought he was just the mailman. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. Alright. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the mountain? Yes, I did. It was kind of hard to miss. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Ritos reaches the adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragarusta to receive a scale from the great dragon. That was surprisingly hard to read. In this scale... It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wing rings. Wing rings. Recently, however, the once gentle Badu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. Oh, that's too bad. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu or Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. So why should I care? As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. Link's like, well, what do you want me to do about it? My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? I guess I better- Yeah, smile at him! Chieftain, what do you think of canceling Captain with the regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Captain is a gallant young lad. Yes, I am. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. Okay. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak, and in some ways... In some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. In red text. That's very important, you gotta remember that. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Well, I don't know about that. Will you meet with my son? Okay. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give you, my son. T -p 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 -p. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Everybody's counting on me, because I'm the hero of time reincarnated. Here, Captain, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. I got... A delivery bag! Finally crafted bags like this are used by the Rito Postman everywhere. Okay, so there's more than one then. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Kam Prince Kamali. And off she goes. At least I think it was a she. Okay, so let's check that bag first. We have all our bags, apparently. Is there anything in there? Nope, there isn't. Alright, then, in that case, we're going to end things off here. So, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Wind Waker. Next time, we are going to look for uh, Medley and try and help out Prince Kamali so we can uh, um, calm the rage of the raging Hello 
And yes, I am going to say it like that every single time. Link is angry. He wants you to watch the next episode. See you next time.